Shuttle. What time is it? I've woken up late. Where's my glasses? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I do believe I've shattered my knickers again. Oh, God, the smell. Oh. Oh, my ass. Oh, I've got to make wrestling videos. Oh, who is it this week? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let me check my notes. Oh, it's probably that young hook fellow. I remember when he was just a young boy. Okay, shove it, squad. Today it's Ring of the Hawks season 27 and we will be focusing on a young man called Hook. Now this guy destroyed the entire WWE and it might still be around today if this man hadn't done what he did in the company. So let's watch out his matches and see if he can do the J-O-B to the H-O-W. <coughs> I think I just winded myself. Bring me a spare pair of underwear, Jack. All right, it's Hook. Did he make the ladies look? Wow, looks like I've got a great future ahead of me. Sometimes you've just got to move with the times. All right, enough joking around. It's season five, Ring of the Hawk, and today we're doing some more modern wrestling. Jesus, this was 2014? Today's video is not a Patreon request, but instead it's a YouTube request, which I'm being forced to make against my will. I threatened to smack him one, but Alexi would just not shut up, so this video is for you. Alright, it's J&J Security. So bad it's gonna make you pee. The team of J&J Security are supposedly the greatest security tag team in wrestling history, according to one guy. It's Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury. Jamie retired in 2009 and worked backstage in the WWE, but he still had the occasional dark match. Now this might shock you, but Joey Mercury was a drug addict for 15 years and liked the hard stuff. So he must be the definition of a functioning addict. I mean seriously, how are you going to keep up with a WWE schedule and perform safely in the ring whilst doing all that stuff? It is madness. He had retired from active competition too in 2009 and he worked backstage in the WWE. But in 2014 he teamed up with Jamie Noble to make J&J &J security. God help us. The team was used by Seth Rollins and The Authority. I guess they're a little bit like a modern day Briscoe and Patterson. Match 1, Raw. 2 on 3 handicap match. Dolph Ziggler and Wiener. Can we not at least have a few more matches before the big run ender turns up? They take on Seth Rollins and his partners J&J &J Security. Mercury looks strange about his hair, but he looks less like a tin of dog food than he used to. Jamie Noble hasn't really aged that much. The former Cruiserweight Champion starts with Cena. Mercury makes a blind tag almost straight away and they do a comedy spot where they keep ducking each other until Mercury and Noble run into each other. Back from an advert break and Noble runs into the ring pole. Dolph gets the tag and he smashes Noble in the corner and hits a net breaker. Noble is pretty much dead, but Dolph keeps hitting moves. It should be over after a DDT, but the pin is broken up. Seth realises that his team are losing, so he takes a cheap shot to turn the match. On the outside, Mercury throws Ziggler into the barricade. I'm surprised how frequently Seth tags his partners in. I thought he'd be scared to trust them. Noble nails a slam into a leg drop for a one count. Ziggler tries to get back on top, but misses in the corner. Noble wastes valuable time gorming out, so Dolph drop kicks him. Mercury can't prevent a tag to Cena. John Cena comes into loud boos and he hits the spinning powerbomb. For a very brief moment, it looks like J&J Security are going to make a comeback, but no. The security geeks crash into each other and Dolph and Cena hit stereo finishes to end the match. For God's sake, what has my life come to? Why am I even watching this? There was nothing here worth seeing. These guys can still clearly move around well, but at this stage in their careers, it looks like they have zero redeeming quality. Smell my it's an ass. ass. Match 2, SmackDown, 3 on 1 handicap match, Daniel Bryan vs Seth Rollins and his stupid security team, but at least they have matching outfits this time. Joey Mercury starts and Dee Bry quickly takes him down for Wastelock Takeover. He dumps his nappy of fear and tags Jamie Noble. It doesn't go much better for him as Bryan peppers him with kicks and a kitchen sink. Bryan puts him in an armbar which causes Jamie to scream with fear and tags Seth. Didn't Jamie used to be a hillbilly? I guess he moved up in the world. It goes much better for Seth and Jamie is happy to be tagged in, but hopefully he can manage more than a clothesline and a leg drop, otherwise we won't have moved on much from his last match. This former hillbilly needs to keep progressing in his life. Once again, Brian starts throwing kicks and Seth has to save Jamie from the big one. 
Jamie feels a lot more confident now. Mercury hits a drop kick for his first big move of the video. As expected, Seth does wrestle most this match for his team. The security squad do assist on setting Steph up for a top rope powerbomb, but the goofballs miss Brian turning it into a Frankensteiner. Daniel Bryan goes flying all over the place. He takes out J&J of a double missile dropkick. He throws alternating yes kicks, which is pretty funny. Daniel Bryan gets distracted and Mercury almost rolls him up, but Bryan quickly transitions it into a yes lock and Mercury taps out quicker than a punch to the gut. Why am I doing this to myself? My it is pointless. It's an ass. Match three, Raw. Five on two handicap match. Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan tag up to take on the authority. It looks like it's pretty much over in the first minute with the big boys taking out Roman Reigns. J&J looks so funny stood next to Kane in the big show. The crowd are in silence, but Jamie Noble actually wakes them up with his funny shuffling elbow drop. He hits a clothesline and keeps shuffling around. Brian turns it around with a drop toe hold into the corner. He desperately tries to keep Noble from his partners, but he can't manage it for long and Mercury gets the tag. Almost straight away, Seth Rollins has to break up the S-lock and Kane tags in. Roman returns but gets a knockout blow, so we're back to a 5-on-1 handicap. Some backup does arrive to help Daniel Bryan and it feels like the match has just ended, but it hasn't because J&J security are left all alone in the ring with Bryan. They both climb to the top rope with him. Bryan smacks them both one and pushes them down. He hits a double missile dropkick. They both get yes kicks until they're knocked out. Bryan wants to end it but Roman returns and tags himself in. He hits one spear to Mercury and it's over. Look, this obviously sucks, but I will say that Jamie Noble does get a reaction from the crowd. Can't say the same for Mercury, but he is a tin of god off dog food after all, so what would I expect? It's a D. Match 4, Raw, 3 on 1 handicap match. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins and the scrub security. Joey Mercury will start with Orton. Orton throws him down and demands that he tags Seth in. Mercury tags Noble instead. Orton kicks him in the gut and throws him to the map. Randy Orton aggressively throws him towards Seth and out of the ring. The heels only get on top due to Seth hitting a cheap shot kick. Noble turns into an aggressive pit bull like something out of his past and stomps and smacks all over Orton. Orton responds with an uppercut and clotheslines. Randy now throws him out of the ring. Mercury tries to take advantage of a distracted Orton but can't and he's snap slammed. Orton hits the shove at squad for a double draping DDT. Seth Rollins does try to half-heartedly break up the RKO but he dumps his nappy of fear and runs away from Orton. Orton hits the RKO on Jamie Noble when it's over in three minutes. These guys are useless. Why do people want me to watch this? It's horrendous. Match 5, Raw. 2 on 1 handicap. Noble and Mercury versus Dean Ambrose. I don't know what you're expecting from this one. Ambrose destroys Mercury and he refuses to miss a step. He clotheslines him out of the ring and turns his attention to Jamie. Noble begs and pleads for his life, but it doesn't help him. He bails to the outside where the security team briefly get the advantage before Ambrose spins around on the ring apron and clotheslines the security across the commentary desk. Mercury manages to stop Ambrose's dive and drops his arm on the ropes. They work together, but it's nothing to write home about. Joe Mercury gets a two off a drop kick. Ambrose and Mercury now have a clash of heads. Now Noble gets the tag, but Ambrose is awake. Mercury saves his partner from the corner bulldog, but they can't avoid the life-taking dive from Ambrose. Dean brings Noble back to the ring with a top rope diving elbow. Mercury breaks up the pin. They try a double team now, which doesn't work, and Ambrose hits a double clothesline. Noble is thrown into Mercury and Dirty Deeds beats Jamie Noble. J&J Security don't have a damn move. Why are they having so many matches? They can't do a thing. It's a complete waste of my time. They're never going to win a match. Now that aside, there's a good promo next where Seth Rollins insults his security team. It's notable that the crowd seem to really enjoy Jamie Noble. He still talks like a redneck, but it's nice to see that he has a backbone. He thinks that they are the Shield 2.0. That statement is laughable. Match 6, Raw, final match, oh thank god, 2 on 1 handicap, Seth Rollins versus his two security guards. This is also the main event of Raw for some reason. Mercury desperately tries to wrestle Seth but can't manage anything and Noble has the tag. Rollins smashes him down and throws him out of the ring. Mercury is also thrown out there. They have a team talk with Kane. They decide to surround Rollins and dogpile him whilst Kane takes the ref. They clothesline Seth out of the ring. Ambrose tips popcorn on Rollins. Back in the ring, Mercury hits a dropkick for a nothing count. Rollins wakes up now and once again, the fight heads out of the ring. He launches Mercury into the barricades a couple of times. The crowd actually start cheering for Joey. Rollins spends time just toying with the bold boy. Mercury almost gets a fluke win before Rollins smacks him down again. The crowd are now in silence. You could hear a pin drop. Seth misses a dive but still hits an elbow. Rollins then misses a shot in the corner as Mercury desperately crawls towards Noble. The tag is made. Noble does some sort of wacky takedown and dances a jig of happiness. 
He almost beat Rollins off a netbreaker. The crowd chant, you've still got it, but Noble hasn't got it as Rollins stops him on the top. Seth suplexes Noble now whilst at the same time Mercury trips him up, which is a two for Noble. Seth boots Noble in the face to calm him down. Mercury returns and Rollins just sort of slops down from behind on top of him. The end might be near now as Rollins powerbombs Mercury into Noble. Seth goes for the pedigree which causes Ambrose to jump the barrier. Seth is completely distracted now he's forgotten his Ritalin. Joe Mercury rushes out of nowhere and rolls up Seth Rollins for the free. Joey Mercury pinned Seth Rollins in the main event of Raw. The damn champion lost to two security guards. Dunno. The crowd didn't completely hate this match. Jamie Noble was actually pretty likeable and entertaining. They just can't wrestle very well at this point. It's a waste of time. It's a D. Game over. After this, j and security were written off telly due to an attack from Brock Lesnar. Noble is still employed by the WWE in a backstage capacity and can occasionally still be seen in pull apart brawls. Mercury was released in 2017. I knew this would suck, but anything to shut Alexa up. Jamie Noble has a pretty good wrestling personality, but there was just nothing here worth watching. I'd rather scrub it completely from my memory, shove them in the zone and take your girl home and make her groan.